Okay, we're here with Alana today and uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about possibly the only float in New Zealand that sleeps five? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know whether it's the only one, but we've at least developed a, um, a bed system to be able to sleep five people very, very comfortably. So, um, excuse the state of Kia Kaha at the moment, she's done well now over 47,000 k's um, in a year, so she's very well used and um, just had the horses arrive this morning, so excuse the state of her. But um, this should show you a little bit about um, how it all sets up and how we travel horses in it anyway. So to the left down here um, is the double bed set up, but it's all folded up against the wall and um, doesn't affect the horse's transport um, or transporting of them at all. Uh, fixed very, very, it's very secure um, and it's got a very hard in plastic there so it doesn't um, scratch up or anything like that as well. Um, as you can see up the front, uh, that's the other beds there. There's another three single beds that sit up there um, and not at all affecting the horse's travelling space at all. Um, sits well off um, any of the storage boxes and things so that the dividers still move uh, when you're needing them to. This float here, Kia Kaha, she still takes three huge horses um, or ponies, whatever you wish. And as you can tell, the one thing here at Thoroughbred we're very, very focused on is the horse's safety and the travelling of them. So the, um, the key to this is not having um, anything affecting their area. Okay. So what we'll do is um, I'll just, uh, we'll, we'll just set them up for you um, so you can have a look and see how easy it is to do first off. And um, yeah, and once we come back, we'll show you them all set up and how everyone gets to sleep so comfortably as they do. All right, so this is um, us set out the bunks. It takes about five minutes to do you take the dividers out of the horse float. Um, it just means that you've got obviously a vacant space there to be able to work with. So the way in which these bunks are set up, they're on a hinging system that obviously they go up into my cover rack there so they don't hang on the float at all throughout the journey. Um, the bunks are then clipped onto them and they are also able to be uh, folded up against themselves uh, through the day. So what we find um, superb about these bunks is, for a start, they're really comfortable. They're made out of really good um, thick foam and the kids have a marvellous sleep. They sleep like little lambs all the time. Another great way for us through the day is they actually all fold up against the wall here, like so. Uh, we just clip the chains back in on themselves and all the bedding stays up there throughout the day. And then just comes down at night for sleeping. They hold huge amounts of weight as well. Um, so you can sleep, yeah, obviously, you know, really good sized adults up there as well. Um, so these two bunks here fold up against the wall through the day. The one at the back over here we generally use, um, we store a heap of stuff underneath it. We also use it uh, for when the kids come in and have lunch. They actually sit on there. We can obviously at night the back of the float comes down um, and she's all, you know, snuggly at night as well. So the way in which this bed system down on the, uh, that was folded up against the wall works is it's actually a couch system how we've got it set up at the moment. Um, when I'm on my own and Mark doesn't come, obviously I sleep on it like that, just makes it, um, it's a really comfortable bed as well, but also as a couch system through the day. It then does fold out again, um, again that size um, on itself one more, and it makes a whole double bed down there, which is incredibly comfortable as well. So obviously for clients, um, this suits, so everyone understands, this one suits us. We generally, um, four to five people every time we travel on the weekends. We do sleep in here um, at about two to three nights a week through the season. Um, for those that aren't necessarily wanting to sleep this many people, um, obviously you can choose which way you'd like it and each one can be purchased individually. Um, these have been set up for angle load, the thoroughbred angle load at this stage, but we are working on straight load options as well. Uh, so as I say, if you've got a two horse angle load, things like that, we can accommodate um, and make the beds to suit each individual float. Some people um, have said that they can't believe that you sleep in floats because of how cold it can get in at, at times. What we've done in Kia Kaha to suit ourselves, and it may not suit everybody, but it certainly does us, is uh, we've added a heating system into this float. So this float here has a full heating system. It's, full, it's going now, incredibly warm. Uh, there are times that we leave it on all night um, to heat the float up, and if anything, we probably cook a little bit too much. 
Um, with that, I've also put in a heated towel rail. It all actually operates out of the same system there, so it's great for the tea towels to be able to dry them as well. Um, this Kia Kaha float, she's got everything set up for us, but obviously if it suits us, it may suit others as well. So she's got a two burner gas hob up here, it gets plenty of use, so don't look at the cleanliness of it. Um, so we've also got the hot and cold water here with the Califont um, sink and tap here as well. We've got the hot and cold horse wash where it all um, links into this system here for the washing. Um, the heater controller here, just covered because I have been caught once watering it. <laughs> um, over here I've also got a power outlet. This one actually charges my phone um, or it also charges computers, things like that as well. It works a treat.